Okay, John. You All right, thanks a lot. Um, as you mentioned, I'm going to be talking about facial affect recognition therapy with individuals with traumatic brain injury. Now, traumatic brain injuries are caused by an external blow to the skull. These often occur from something like a car accident. Over 1.4 million individuals in the United States receive treatment for traumatic brain injuries every year. Often these individuals with traumatic brain injuries have difficulties with what's called theory of mind. And this is understanding how other people are feeling when you're interacting with them and understanding what those other people might be thinking. A subset of theory of mind is be being able to read people's emotions through their facial expressions. And again, individuals with traumatic brain injury, depending on the severity, can have a great deal of difficulty picking up the emotions other people are putting out through their facial expressions. And that's where my therapy comes into place. My project looked at what's called facial affect recognition therapy with two individuals with chronic traumatic brain injury. That means the injury was sustained over five years previous and telepractice was also incorporated into this therapy. I used a teleconferencing video-based system to do therapy with individuals in Hawaii, and telepractice is a growing part of the therapy fields because it allows us to work with individuals who are in remote areas of the United States or across the world, or who might not otherwise feel comfortable coming in to in-person therapy. Now, my actual um, therapy was important because as this picture indicates, not being able to read people's facial expressions can get you in a lot of trouble in your relationships. People, individuals with traumatic brain injury, unfortunately have a very high rate of divorce, for example, and also have many other difficulties with socialization. It can lead to arguments and misunderstandings, and that's something that, of course, we wanna help people avoid if possible. So my therapy approach was based on three parts. The first part was facial expression recognition, and I used pictures of people's facial expressions and presented them to the individuals with the traumatic brain injury and asked them to identify what emotions those people on the cards were showing through their facial expressions. Next, I asked the individuals to reflect on personal situations in their own lives where they had experienced those emotions and what reactions those emotions brought up for them. And then thirdly, finally, I asked them to think about social situations and lines of dialogue, including the use of sarcasm, and be able to pull the emotions out of those lines of dialogue in order to read, it, read the situation correctly. And ultimately, this therapy can help individuals with traumatic brain injury, particularly those living in remote places, to be able to improve their relationships and to be able to improve their functional communication. Thank you.